G'day folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and this is my second attempt at um, doing what I'm hoping is going to be a decent place card graphic. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put in the proportions for my Beanie Draws lettering. That's going to be the, for the bottom part. Just do my bounding box. The lettering. All of this is going to be time lapsed. Well, the whole idea of this particular thing is I want to have a kind of a cool introduction animation time lapse thing for the beginning of my videos. Kind of like how I did for the um the 2000 subscriber thing. I wanted to have it like going animating from there to there, but I don't know if that's going to work out. I might have to try this a few times. I'm just going to jot quickly rough in me in there. That's going to be my head. My body. going to have myself holding my pencil. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm trying to have the equal parts of Beanie and Draws in these letterings, so let's try it again. I'm just going to rough it in first this time. That might be where I can eat, fix up this time. Because where I've messed up is I had the N, the I, and the E going too far into the DR, the Draws part. That's okay, because you. This is part of the the rough planning process side of um, illustration. So it doesn't matter if we um, have to have some bits a bit rough. I wanted it to be perfect, but I don't think perfection is what I'm going to get. So I'm going to try and keep my constraints into these letters. Let's see if I can do it this time. I want it to be fairly um, speedy, fairly consistent. So when this video hopefully will be a five second time lapse quick video to um, go at the start of all my videos, we'll see how that goes. I want to, I want to try and get this as good as I can. How good it'll actually end up being, I don't know. Because this is old school traditional graphic design, doing the lettering with old with pencil. I mean, if you're doing old school graphic design, like you know, in the 80s and 70s, they probably would have been far more precise than this. I'm doing this rough, but I my illustrations aren't you know perfect. They have a bit a slight rough vibe to them anyway, so. It doesn't matter if my title card is a little bit on the rough side. Either way, it's gonna hopefully it'll look good in five second format. <laughs> the idea of having like, you know, an animated thing, like you know what everyone like a lot of YouTubers do at the start of their videos. But I figured you know what, just a little beanie draws and me just doing like you know, you know, just drawing a little me at the end would be a, a decent enough start for, you know, how I usually do my G'day there, I'm Beanie, welcome to Beanie Draws, and yada yada yada. And depending on how long this video actually goes for, condensing it into five seconds, possibly even less, this may end up being a three second clip for the start of my videos, and I've got to consider music, potentially. Though I don't really have um, music at all in any of my videos, so um, I don't know if I end up putting this video out as its own thing. Um, give me a comment in the descriptions of this video whether you think I should add music into my videos, like maybe the time lapse or just having like a faint little a faint little soundtrack of some sort in the background while I'm drawing. Or if you think my 
my regular narration is good enough in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below and that will give me good food for thought. Because this is anime, uh, like, you know, a fun illustration kind of channel, I wanted to leave out the technicality side of things and have it a bit more fun. So a manual freehand um, illustration style, I think, for a beginning animation holds on to that fun factor. A little part of my inspiration was um, Draw with Jazza because he has a bit of a draw an introduction animation. He does animation, I don't. Um, I just draw. So, um, like, he has a little animation thing to start off with, which was kind of gave me the idea of um, doing this. But I don't want to do much of an animation thing. I just want to have a little bit of a time lapse um, thing at the start. I mean, I think there's some other, you know videos on TV and stuff that have a, a little bit of a sketchy animated um, start, I guess. Woohoo, it seems I'm actually keeping to my constraints for the most part. It means I can just quickly erase some of these bits of the founding of lines. It's messing with my initial animations. Oh, I suppose I can cut this little part of the erasing out of the final little um, thing. Final time lapse. The A and I is still a bit messy, but it's better than nothing. And I'm trying to keep the lettering as kind of close to my um, page banner as possible, or channel banner, whatever they call it. So I think this video, when I upload it, it's not going to be a tutorial. You can take this as a bit of a tutorial, like, you know, you set, I've showed you how to put the blocking of the lettering and all that, but this video isn't really meant to be a tutorial. It's more like just watching me going through the process. I'm also wondering whether down the track any of my old um, my old teachers from graphic design or whatever will end up watching any of these videos. It's highly unlikely. But if you've um, if, you, if you've taught me at all back in the day, uh, if you taught me any, if you taught me graphic design or illustration back in the day, Give me, give me a little shout out in the comments. I doubt I will ever read anything from any of my teachers, but it'd be very cool if that actually was to happen, because um, I do follow one of my old teachers on Instagram, uh, David Moore, who's a film... Um, a, a, I don't know if he does teaching anymore, but he's a... He do, oh, great. I, Messed up with the R going into the A. Damn it. Oh well. I won't worry too much. I'll combine the two of those together. But yes, um, David Moore um, is... He, he's into film and video, and he's actually quite good at photography too. Um, his Instagram is full of interesting photography. So, um... I don't know his, um his actual account name off the top of my head. I'll put it in the descriptions if I remember to. <laughs> but yeah, one of my one of my graphic design teachers who um was good at <laughs> well good at putting up with my shenanigans and crap. And good at putting up with the fact that I'm uh not your usual student. Um, he's, he's like the f some of my sort of gothier, um, photos on Instagram, so I think he gathers that I'm not your, um, 
your typical person. And to be honest, these days I'm not all that interested in graphic design. I do like I do like it from time to time. I like as you can see here, I don't mind a bit of, you know, a bit of typography and a bit of logo design, but over the last couple of years I've been thinking about it and you know considering the different um the different client jobs that I've had in the past couple of years. They weren't bad, but I just didn't get much enjoyment out of it. And what I want to be doing, I want to be enjoying. And what I'm doing right now, these videos, I get a huge amount of enjoyment from them. Like the fact that I'm helping people out and hearing people go, Oh, that's amazing. I wish I could draw like that. Or, you know, hearing people tell me that, tell me that um, I've helped them learn to draw which that that feels amazing that's the kind of stuff that i go for more than you know just making someone's brand identity because i mean branding identities are great you help um you know form a a um a branding a identity for people to get known by but you're just basically form. You're just basically designing something, and like, how many logos other than you know real famous logos for like you know Apple computers and that? How many um, designers do you, do you know that design the things that you see out there? You don't. You never see who designed the things. All you ever see is the company. All you ever see is the um, the final product, and I guess like a CGI artist, the best design and the best CGI is the kind that you don't notice. Whereas for me, it's far more rewarding to you know people commenting on my artworks, going "That's amazing," or you know that I've taught you guys something that feels so 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 rewarding which is why since the time of having this youtube channel i definitely feel like i found my calling because i've always wanted to do something to do with the illustration something that you know that contributes something that you know betters the world and until until making this channel, I wasn't sure what that was going to be. I thought I'd just you know maybe make some um, illustrations with some kind of message, but I didn't know what that message would be, other than you know, um, you know, peace and love each other and all that. But there's so much of that out there already that I'd probably just get lost in it. So I thought teach people some tips on how to draw, and that way I get to draw. It, it um challenges me because you know it um it makes me think of how I can improve my videos, how I can improve my teaching. If anyone is even interested in listening to any of this part of the stuff, but if you are, it also teach um yeah the teaching like it it teaches me to um be mindful of you know process I guess how to teach people things challenge it challenges me in how to you know provide better videos and better editing and trying to make things interesting because I wanted my videos to be you know there sometimes my videos can be a bit dry I guess I wanted my videos to be a little bit more hey what's going on but that would just be taken away from the um, um and just briefly, I don't like how this W is looking. <laughs> uh, Ws are always fairly difficult. Maybe I need to make this part of the W higher up. Uh, maybe I'll make that a little bit lower and that a little bit higher up. Can't remember what I was just talking about. <laughs> but it's all about challenge, I guess. And that's one thing that... I like challenging myself. I, you know, I don't mind having, you know, um, people asking me 
you know, hiring me to draw something. That stuff's kind of cool. But what I usually like doing at the absolute best is stuff like this where I'm create. This is more or less for me. Everything that I've drawn, sure, it's to, you know, teach you guys stuff, but I've chosen to draw, you know, say, the T-Rex or the Velociraptor or the Mosasaurus when I felt like doing it. I knew people wanted me to draw it, but I'm like, you know, some weeks I wasn't in the mood to draw a Mosasaurus, some weeks I was in the, draw in the mood to draw a T-Rex. And that's what I like about doing these videos, is the fact that I can, you know, I can provide a service of some kind, but also doing it in my own time, because, you know, that's the artist in me. So I've got, the, I've got that part out of the way. What I'm going to do is going to try and draw a little me again. Um, I'm going to do it very similar to the way that I did it in the 2000 subscriber video. So I'm going to have me in my jacket. Well actually what I will do before I do that, because I wanted to do it from left to right, is I'm going to get some ink down if I'm even inking at all I am inking, cool because I wanted this animation to be left to right but the good thing about having the pencil down is that I can draw very quickly which is usually how I like to draw that's the good thing about lettering I don't like is that especially hand-drawn lettering is you need to try and keep it to constraints and proportions and that requires a lot of pre-planning once I've already got lines down then I can just you know smash it out the quick way that I like drawing and what I'm trying to do as I'm doing this is I'm trying to think less in the mind of finishing an I image and more in the mind of how is this going to flow in a quick animation format. So normally I would be drawing the picture of me now, but I kind of wanted to have it going from lettering all the way on one side down to the other in a f bit of a flow. It's not really going exactly that way, but it's going to be close enough. Get some red ink down. I don't know if I'm going to do this solid or if I'm going to do it like blended like I did for my... Actually, no, I think I might do it all solid. Because that's kind of how it is for my intro. And so I'm going to make all this red. Just like my title card, um, my banner on Z YouTube's. Because this was a lot of colouring in, I've decided to do all this part as a really fast time lapse. But hey, it's colouring in between the lines, so we all know how to do that. So, yay for time lapse! That's the other bad thing I've just noticed. The more that you colour in a page heavily with pen, the more it wrinkles the page up. So that's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. So I was going to mess around with my title card. Yeah, well. Okay, that's that out of the way. I'm going to now draw the last little bit. I'm drawing my little tie and shirt and all that good stuff. Because everyone loves a person in a suit. Who doesn't love a suit? If I'm just thinking, I might put my pen behind me as a bit of a I'm leaning against my pen while I'm holding my pencil. That kind of works. I'm just trying to do a cute form of me. A little goatee. Also, I have to fix up my eyebrow because it's not as 
hooked up as it should be. Mwahahahaha. I know there's gonna be one or two people that hate me for that one. <laughs> I can say it's an it's an evil eyebrow. It's a very cheeky eyebrow. It has a mind of its own. It's an expressive eyebrow. I must say I think I prefer how I look in this one to my two thousand card. Looks a little more like me. Now to draw all that part in pen as well. Although when you get to this small size, it can be a little bit difficult to get the um the, the dots and pupils going. This is another extended time-lapse part but hey it's just basically me drawing over the top of the lines that I've already done in pen it's not really all that much to teach or explain in this part it's just basically drawing over the top of lines so yeah I've decided I am going to color this last little part what I should do there is I should wait for the ink to do its thing and when I say wait for the ink to do its thing I meant dry so I could erase it obviously and now what I'm doing here is I'm getting into doing my colouring. I didn't really explain much of it while I was doing it, because it's not a huge amount to explain, it's just basically colouring, but um, with the black I used a lot for the suit, but um, in that pencil I basically used a combination of yellow, orange and red. I used orange to get a little bit more of the depth, um, and red just for the shadows. Actually a purple tie. And that, my friends, is how I draw my little Boonie Draws introduction title card, so hopefully that looks good. Please like this video, if you did, give a thumbs up, comment on what you thought, subscribe if you haven't already done so, but this is basically just intended to be for the start of my video, so now, let's see how this bad boy goes in, um, in three to five seconds time. Thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you next time. Cheerio.